Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about Rey, we're talking about the Rise of Skywalker, and we're talking about what happens to the protagonist of the sequel trilogy after episode 9. So right now on YouTube there's a lot of talk in the Star Wars community about Rey, about her character, especially within the context of the Rise of Skywalker. There's a lot of talk about the film, specifically because Disney Plus has brought episode 9 to the platform early on May the 4th, um, a couple of days ago. And a lot of people are vocalizing their opinions of episode 9. Now, it's kind of reminiscent of when episode 8 came out. Everyone was very disappointed with The Last Jedi. Everyone was talking about how it ruined Star Wars. Now, the big issue with episode 9, of course, was, you know, does Rey announcing herself as a Skywalker, does what she did to Emperor Palpatine undermine the story? And then, of course, we had the novelization come out, which revealed that Palpatine was actually a clone all along and that it was all basically for nothing. So in this episode, we're going to be talking about Rey's character because for me, I didn't particularly mind the film overall. I think it treated the fan base much better than The Last Jedi, but that's J.J. Abrams for you. I was a bigger fan of The Force Awakens than I was of The Last Jedi and Ryan Johnson's treatment of Star Wars, of Luke Skywalker's character and so on. But in this episode, I want to talk specifically about Rey and about what happens to her at the end because the final scene for me really ruined the film. I mean, when she calls herself a Skywalker, we're not given any context. It's just like, okay, you know, kind of like female power, blah, 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 all of that stuff. And it doesn't feel authentic to Star Wars. In my opinion, if she would have declared herself to be a Palpatine, I would have respected her character. I'd been like, you know what? She called herself a Palpatine. She took responsibility of, of, of what that name means and she really changed what it means going forward when that old lady in the desert of Tatooine asks her, you know, no one's been here in so long. Who are you? And she says, Ray. And obviously the, the, the Skywalker twins turn around in ghost form and say, you know, nothing. <laughs> and then she's like, I'm Ray Skywalker. And then you know she looks out into the binary sunset with bb8 and the film ends and it's like okay it's a bit of a slap in the face for many fans so in this episode uh i'm going to be talking about what happens to her so sorry to rant and rave uh we're gonna pick up um from when we see her and the old woman says who are you and i'm actually going off the novelization which gives us a little bit of insight so here it is Rey Skywalker headed towards the Falcon to return to her family. People were precious. They were life and light. She couldn't have survived the Emperor, couldn't have resisted him, if not for the goodness and strength of her friends, and the generosity of the Jedi who had come before. And Ben, she reminded herself. As she approached BB-8, warbled that he'd had enough of desert planets, that he gave no complaint when she paused to gaze into the desert morning. Together, Rey and BB-8 watched as Tatooine's twin sons rose on a new day. Now, that's literally all the book gives us. I really feel as though um, with, with Disney, with the franchise, with how they, they've treated the Skywalker sequel trilogy, how they've basically um, realized their big failings and the fact that they had no plan going into it. They just wanted to close the freaking book on the Skywalker trilogy. They give no potential for Rey's character to develop further. I mean, if you ask me, that's kind of a relief. Um, I'm much more big of a fan of what they're doing with the Mandalorian, uh, their treatment of the Clone Wars. The ending was absolutely fantastic. I'm very much looking forward to Kenobi, looking forward to the High Republic. I'm looking forward to what they're going to do next. But to be honest, I would have much respect much more respected this character and and this treatment of the character if they would have given us some clue to the fact that she was going to have some space adventure after but then again after the revolution you know what's the goddamn point um so who knows you know maybe we'll get more about ray's character in the future i very much doubt it uh, i want to know what you think though so please leave a comment in the comment section down below please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my voice and you enjoy star wars and you enjoy chilling out here on my channel so all the best thanks for watching and let me know what you thought